Saints encounter with the devil. We all know that prayer and our faith is herbist weapon and shield against the attack of the devil. Both sinners and saints are being attacked by the devil. The devil is alive and working overtime to destroy people, thus we should pray unceasingly. Saint Gemma Galgani was once had an encounter with the devil. The devil said to the saint, You can pray for yourself, but if you pray for others, I will make you pay dearly for it. And on another occasion the devil said to this great saint, While acting for yourself, do as you please. But listen well, do nothing for the conversion of sinners. If you attempt it, I shall make you pay dearly for it. The devil appeared to affirm for Saint Gemma Galgani that our prayers for other are seemingly more fruitful than when we pray for our own wants. The devil tried new tactic to get Saint Gemma to consider her own soul rather than only others when he exclaimed, How and where comes such presumption? You ever laden with sins, and all the years of thy life would not suffice to bewail and expiate them. And yet you lose time about the sins of others. Do you not see that your own soul is in danger? A strange game, that of thinking for others and neglecting thyself. Through all this she was brutally beaten by the devil, but she never stopped praying for others. Letting herself be a victim for the human race as her Lord and Savior did on the cross. Know that no servant is greater than their master. The devil seemed to be in a personal war with Saint Gemma Galgani. At one point during one of the devil's attacks he started horribly cursing God and shouting, War! War against you and your spiritual director. This continued on a nightly basis with the devil mocking her and her prayers for others on the chance that she would give up praying for others. She took all this with the true patience of a saint. The devil caused her the most pains by blaspheming her true love, Jesus Christ, continuously. Even one day exclaiming, What are you doing? How stupid you are to pray to that malefactor. Look at the harm he does thee, keeping thee nailed to the cross with himself. How then can you care for him whom you don't even know, who makes all who love him suffer? Through all these continued promises of earthly happiness and even acknowledging to her that might may pray for herself, just not for others, she preserved through the devil's attacks and eventually won a great victory for mankind, guaranteeing herself an exalted place in heaven along with all the saints of Christ. Another saint who were constantly being attacked by the devil is, Saint Padre Pio. The devil said to Padre Pio, You bother us more than Saint Michael. If you don't snatch souls from us we will not bother you. Saint Jean Marie Baptiste Vianney once said, What cells can convert by our prayers? The one who saves a soul from hell saves this soul and his own as well. If you are inspired please don't forget to like, share. Subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos about stories of saints.